is, you know, looking on Twitter, the social media response, quite a few people seem to be bereft by the fact mm. that Love Island will be in their lives no more. That's it, you know, nine o'clock on... I think it's terribly sad. I, I'm going to miss it. I don't know what I'm going to do at nine o'clock every evening. Randy Couple, Kem <laughs> Ketanay, what's his name? Kem Ketanay, yeah. Ketanay. Uh, and Amber Davies were crowned Love Island winners last night, reports The Sun. The pair, who had sex the most times inside the villa... Oh, trust The Sun to ...landed count. the show's £50,000 first prize. Well done. They must be so proud. So proud. Um, an amazing achievement. Oh, it really we just was. celebrate the fact that a couple who fell in love mm. on a show called Love Island mm. and who had a genuine relationship went on to win the prize and decided to share it between each They're other. They're now talking about getting married. Yeah. I'll give it till Christmas. Yeah. I've never heard someone talk so much about, about a programme they my, my, say they despise. According to The Guardian, Britain's top anchor woman, <laughs> supposedly this highly intelligent woman sitting next to this complete ignoramus, is somebody who is consumed with every moving moment of yeah. this utterly cretinous bilge. Is you, it do you not, see the problem, is, the, the contradiction? Is it not fair enough just to be distracted in these hard times by a little bit of floss? Mm. Like relief, romance. Yeah. If you want someone to crack on, you just have to ask. I d believe me, I don't need to ask. They, they won because they had more sex in the villa than anybody else, any other contestant, which is just wonderful, isn't it? That, that that's how you are famous these days. You just basically have lots of sex on television. Um, anyway, far yes. bit from me to be cynical about these people, but uh, Susanna loves them, thinks I they're do. wonderful, thinks I it's the part of true love romping on national television. I think the, real, you, romance, catch on, the real romance, of course, in Love Island was <laughs> Kem and Chris, and they should now get their own reality TV show. Do, do, you, do you believe that fundamentally true love can come from just having endless sex on national television, live, for the delectation of viewers? I don't think it had anything to do with the sex, actually. What, really? Yeah. Um, Where are you going? <laughs> I'm just going to read The Sun, which is... Yeah, well, you would expect to the, sun. the Sun to focus on it. I think Kevin and Amber genuinely fell in love. Right. And I think intimacy is part of a healthy adult relationship. Right, but just to clarify, um, Randy, Randy Couple... Well, you can spin Kem it and like Amber that. ...were crowned Love Island winners last night. The pair who had sex most times inside the villa landed the first prize. But only because they were the longest-lasting relationship right. in the villa. But so obviously, inevitably, that's But there was a direct link happened. between their success and now their presumably global fame and income based on how many times they had no, gone to bed with it, each other on national television. I think it was an intensity of the love between them which mm. uh, won them the... The well, prize and congratulations. Yeah, it was well deserved. Be, it was couldn't a be happier relationship. for you. It's it's just what the world needs. Is yeah, it's a like bit of you. romance and love and yeah. intimacy and positivity and light relief and distraction from all the doom and gloom. Just what we need is a bunch of dimwits romping on TV what and walking off with buckets them? of cash. Yeah, anyway, just um, jealous. Lots of it's a lot of paper shuffling. <laughs> because yeah, of my, my aspirations are slightly anyway, loftier than the dimwits of Love Island. But anyway, um, what your aspirations are loftier than having a good relationship with lots of intimacy. I think that's a great aspiration to have. No, I just prefer them to have brains, like cerebral mass. My problem with They've your... They've got brains, Kevin Amber. They haven't got brains. They haven't got brains. You didn't watch the programme. How can you judge I their intellectual capability? I watched enough to know that they have no and brains. Anyway, what, what's the problem? Why does everybody have to be intellectually superior? Why wouldn't you strive to have intellect in your life? Why do you want to be surrounded by these utter dimwits? They're not utter dimwits. They are. No, they're not. Well, talking of dimwits... Oh, that's a bad link, because it's not fair.